Oh, so you um, want to know a little bit about Lisa? Uh, well, you know, she once posed for a class of, of, of uh, one of my classes. Uh, oh no, this this is not this, this is not Lisa. Um, let me just see if I can find that painting of Lisa. I, I think he's in the other. I think he's in the other room. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I mean she um, would not pose nude actually, and which is fine. And uh, we had this slip that she thought was fine, and uh, she even helped in help institute the pose. Say, yeah, this is Lisa. And uh, I remember the day that she posed. Uh, she was very interested in the work being done by the rest of the class. And I don't think it was just because she was the model. I think she was interested in the kind of work they were doing, the, the difference in their styles. Um, she was interested in the kind of creation they were, they were making. And, uh, well, you know, I think she herself uh, was a creator. Um, I know she was a poet. And uh, by the way, uh, she had a very good friend in the class. Uh, I forget her name, something, uh, Myrner, uh, something sounds like that. Vera, Vera? Vera Michaels? Oh yeah, Vera Michaels, you know, and she was a damn good painter, Vera. A serious student. And sometimes they'd work together and uh, they worked side by side. I think Lisa did not do badly. It was not a bad draftsman. And, uh, and then they would critique each other. Sometimes they'd uh, talk to the other students and they'd critique their work. Uh, it became a little bit of a nice community when Lisa was around. And, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, she hasn't been around for some time. Uh, I can't believe that kind of thing that happened. I mean, out of the blue, um, that terrible accident, so young, and uh, well, I guess she won't be back to this class. I, uh, it's too bad. Uh, I think we all, we all still are not over, we're not over Lisa's death, not in any way.